what's going on guys we are here with the season finale of vikings i didn't even realize that it's only nine episodes in season one but here we are just realize um that we're at the season finale of season one of vikings um i apologize for the long wait um for this episode but i just didn't get a chance to actually record this episode um you know from what was going on in the last episode got to see some of the rituals of the vikings um and what they do um just to get forgiveness you know they dedicate um i don't know if it's a day they were there i don't remember if it was how long they were there um making those sacrifices and stuff um they tried to sacrifice the priest but he's not he, he he still believes so there is some issues there as i'm as i was saying is it's like um they brought him there under the guise of me you know what i'm saying but now i'm wondering if ragnar knew that they weren't gonna be is it, why would he deliberately disrespect the gods like that is it because they took his son i i, I don't know so i'm a little bit confused is he like converting to christian is he liking this stuff i don't know you know what i'm saying so a little bit confused on the issues here maybe um maybe it's because rollo did what he did i don't know I, there's so many plot lines right now that needs to be you know talked about and dealt with and plot out but i want to see what they do here at the end of the season to wrap things up so we're gonna jump into it man and i will see you guys right back here for the review this guy freaking rollo is pissing me off i don't know what what he's up to or what he intends to do and it's extremely confusing you know what i mean it's very confusing his character because some you, you know what is he planning with siggy what was he planning with siggy after the, the death of Earl harrison harrison or whatever what were they planning i i still don't know it's confusing and the season is ended and this new woman that came out of nowhere Ragnar put a baby in her and Lagerda is at home losing losing her one daughter that she has doesn't look like she's ever going to be able to have another child um she's over here taking care of business he over here enjoying himself do you know how that's going to look when he gets back because i think he has to bring her home now with him because of that um i think he has to bring her home with him so if he survives whatever is coming which it seems like they're gonna try to attack him and kill him while he's there if he survives that he has to take that woman home and that's not gonna go over well because it's not a good look man it's not a good look so it's not a good look so the whole negotiation thing like the king ain't budging he's like listen i'll pay you for the land it's either i'm gonna pay you for the land or i'm just gonna come take it so just might as well just get some cash for for, for the land but he's being stubborn now he's got rollo on his y'all y'all borg <laughs> y'all borg you know, so now you probably end up getting zip, nada, nothing. So, because I don't see Ragnar losing this matchup. So, if... But there's also the mystery behind everything. Why? What is this plague that came over the, um, the, the village? What is, what is this plague? This plague just kind of came out of nowhere. What is it? You know what I'm saying? Um, it Are they being punished by the gods because of what they did um, back in the last episode where they kind of disrespected the gods by bringing this Christian dude to be sacrificed? So maybe this is recompense for all of that stuff. It's just, oh, 
<laughs> this show is it's amazing writing and I love the pacing but for them to end the season like that like if I was watching this show I would be confused out of my damn mind because that I mean other than the fact that we got the surprise at the end of Rolo going to the other side like other than that there's really nothing else that could have that really grabbed me and um to really bring me back for season two i'm just saying i'm just saying like it, they did a good job with the episode as in from a technical standpoint but when it comes on to the storytelling and the writing i think they could have done a little tinsy bit better job of you know of building up the anticipation for season two if this was this was season one it was not I don't think it was a strong I, th I don't think it's the strongest ending they could have done to head into season two you know what I'm saying I think they could have done a lot better because I've I've seen better written episode you guys know that I've had my issues with this show earlier in the season where I was like some episodes are really poorly written and you know drawn out pacing just all over the place sometimes so it's it's not you know new to me that they're mess that they would you know have such a weak season finale because th this season finale it was good in certain aspects but at the same time it's like they introduce a whole new aspect and we don't I, d I don't understand as in I don't understand as you can see from my reaction the thing with the woman. I don't want you guys to explain anything to me if it's going to be revealed in season two. She just kind of came out of nowhere to be this new person in Ragnar's life. They could have, I think they could have done a better job of introducing her. Um, you know, they just kind of just preyed on the fact that, um, you know, we love seeing naked women, you know, to to bring her into the story. So it's like, cause I was immediately intrigued. Who is she? And then the people that was watching her, you know, the, the woman warriors that was watching over her. So that intrigued me too. But as I said, they could have done a better job of introducing this character as the new lover for Ragnar. I think they could have done a better job of introducing that character. But here we are. <laughs> so I have to deal with it, right? So as I said, man, it wasn't a strong season finale. I don't think so. It's just my opinion. Um, you know, you may share something different. You may share a different opinion, and that's okay. Maybe you thought it was a strong season finale, but I don't think so. I I give it was still good writing. It wasn't great. You know, it wasn't out of this world. Um, I still enjoyed it. As you can see, I, I still enjoyed where they were, where the story that where they were trying to tell, but I still believe they could have done a better job. And I don't want nobody come tell me, oh, if you could do a better job, why don't you do it? Why don't you tell us what, how you would have done it? Hey, I don't have to be a writer to be critical of writing and know what good writing is. This is an issue that we have over on the Game of Thrones reaction. People calling me out saying, I should write i'm like listen man there's a reason why you got millions of people that is that is um upset about the game of thrones ending it's not just me okay if we all could write better stories we will and there are people on youtube that have write written better endings for game of thrones so <sighs> please um so i'm just saying guys you know i don't have to have a technical degree in technical writing or anything like that to to um to notice when good writing or whatever it is. as i said it's not bad writing i never said it was bad so don't come at me in the comment section okay i never said it was bad it, it's good enough it's good enough but it wasn't great i think they could have done a better job with that um so but you guys have told me that it gets better so this was season one so I'm, I haven't lost interest in the show by any means possible. I'm just saying, just being critical of this episode, you know, I definitely give it like an eight out of ten because I think they could have done a better job of the pace. The the um the the pacing was good too. The 
the pacing was good but there's so many things that's not explained i don't know maybe i should watch the episode again i don't know where this sickness just came out of nowhere and started you know what i'm saying destroying the village is this a punishment from the god it i don't think it was addressed did she sacrifice something she did make a sacrifice and her daughter still died so is this punishment from the gods i don't know you know i'm assuming that it is it seems like um bjorn was about to come out the room and it seems like the the raven tried to warn him in some way because i know that odin and ravens are related in norse mythology i know that um so i don't know we'll see we'll see what happens in season two which i'm gonna try to make sure as i stay on top of getting these vikings videos out thank you guys for listening as always check out the review tell me what you think in the comment section man if you think it was a great episode that's fine um you know i don't think it was that great of a season finale um but it was still good so thank you guys for watching as always leave a like if you like it if you don't like my review that's fine too you could leave a dislike it's okay you know, thank you guys for watching as always, man. It's your boy Terabyte Reacts. I will see you guys next time.